Hey guys, okay, so first video, here goes nothing. These are just gonna be me ranting about stuff, my opinion. Whatever is your opinion, let it be yours. Whatever floats your boat. Go ahead. But um, this is the first video that I'm making, and it's about people dating people who are older than them by a fucking decade. What is wrong with you, first of all? Girls, you wanna go date a guy younger than you? Go ahead date them. But if they are younger than you by more than three years max, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Go find someone your own age. You're going... Ugh. Let me tell you this. I go... I am about... I'm always a year or two older than everyone in my school. In my, in my classes. Because I, uh, I came from Australia. So when I come from Australia, my grades got mixed up. So... Anywho, that's not important. What I'm saying is that I'm older than the guys in my class. And the fact that if I even remotely think some guy is cute and they're a year or two younger than me, even by, like, the whole, like, nine months or something, I'd be like, ew, no. Like, Nelly, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go. No. It's a no for me. I don't like it at all. But if you're, if you're gonna date someone who's older than you, for girls, I'm saying this for girls, if you're gonna date someone who's older than you, don't date somebody who's more than, like, five years older than you. Five years should be the minimum for you. What what the fuck do you need to go date a 30-year-old guy for? What's the reason for that? What are they going to do to you? What are you going to do? Go whore around the place? Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, look at me. I'm dating a 30-year-old. Like, oh, my God. Like, no. It's... If you want someone mature for a guy, I'm telling you, just more than five years is too much. Five years should be enough for you. Just... Be done with it. Now for guys. Guys. You fucking idiots. Guys. You are going to go, mostly people that are in Hollywood, basically. But, you know, it's like some relationship not legit, but whatever. I'm saying is that some of these guys go after women who are a decade older than them. And then you hear reports and articles and people going, oh my god, they're so in love. They're like, this relationship is so serious. Like, are you fucking kidding me? For real? You, you, your relationship is really serious? Let me get you some one. This is the one example I'm going to use. Harry Styles and that Caroline Lynn, what the fuck her name is. That woman. The woman that is basically four years younger than my mother my mother okay if you are going to go date a woman who is at least 12 years or 8 years older than you you might as go you might as well go date your fucking mother or your aunt what is wrong with you i don't understand how that relationship could be possibly serious okay you want to date someone mature go find a mature girl doesn't have to be a hundred fucking years old go find a girl who is your age in your age range, at least. Who is mature enough to handle shit that you handle? Okay? You don't need to go fucking date a 26-year-old or a 32-year-old. Like Harry, 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 what the fuck their name is. And... I like One Direction, sorry about that. But like, just... It frustrates me. Do you see how I'm stuttering over here? Like, it frustrates me. But the thing is that... You guys are going around like Nick Jonas here. Buddy. I've been a fan of Nick Jonas and like the whole Jonas Brothers thing basically a year after they became big. No. A year after they... Oh, rewind. A, a year after their um, first album came out. So that was since when I was a big fan. And I became a fan to support them and their music and anything else to do in their careers. If I do not like a specific relationship like... Nick and Delta dating. It's like me and my uncle dating. Because the age difference between me and my uncles? Seven years. Seven years. I'm not even kidding you. It would be like I'm dating my uncle. That's fucking disgusting. That's no. That's a no. It's, oh my god. <sighs> my point is that... That's a washing machine. Anyhow. <laughs> that was the funniest moment in the whole thing. The thing is that I'm saying is that you're going to date someone because they're mature and they're older than you, then you're stupid. Go find a girl who's in your age range, maybe a year older than you, then go the fuck ahead. Just whatever. I don't care. A year is about to matter. But you're going to go to someone who's mature. Use them for their minds. 
do not go after girls who are fucking 12 or 8 years older than you saying I'm dating this person because they're mature and they understand me. No, you are a fucking idiot. That is what you are, my friend. No. Just, that is frustrating because that guys think that Guys and girls, I'm sorry, guys and girls think that if they date somebody older or younger than them by like a fucking decade, it means that they've grown up or they're mature. No, growing up means being mature, dating someone your own age or in your age range, or, I don't know, being mature enough to date someone who's older than your fucking mother or your aunt. What is wrong with you? Just, that is what I want to talk about, and that was what bothers me, that was bothering me, and, just, stupid. Delta and Carol, what the fuck her name is, need to go make a little fan club on like fucking how to date younger guys and get attention for it because it's stupid. But if you're going to kiss someone's ass because they're dating somebody that you love, then you're just fucking hypocrite. Because in the, in the end, they will break up and you will be like, oh my god, I fucking hate you. You're going to be the hypocrite here, right? That's all I'm saying. If you're going to be a real fan, then be yourself. Do not kiss someone's ass and do not be a hypocrite. And last thing I want to say is do not force me to like people that I do not like. Because I don't like people for a specific reason. That's it. Video 1. Peace.